Hello there, this is Bic Benedict. We're playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, and this is my Bloody Palace guide and walkthrough. We're going to be taking a full campaign through the Bloody Palace, all 101 stages, with Nero. So I want this to be as introductory a guide as possible for the, uh, for the normal person out there who just wants to get through this. So there's how this works is that it starts on Devil Hunter, it goes to Son of Sparta, and then it goes to um, Dante Must Die difficulty in the later stages. And I'll be discussing all of those. I've got a fact sheet in front of me because there's just a, a whole um, lot of information about how the Bloody Palace works. But basically they start you with two minutes and it's a, a timed... Um, rush attack through all the enemies and you get uh, bonus points for killing every single enemy you'll get a base value of points and you will also get um, when you kill an enemy you get a base value plus you also get a certain percentage depending on what rank you're at when you kill the enemy you also get points for clearing a stage you get cl you get clear points uh, excuse me bonus points for no damaging a section no damaging a boss Typically, um, well, let me let me say this: the only enemy that you don't get a bonus point for is the Chimera Seed enemy. And if you, well, I should say this: if you if you rip if you rip a Chimera Seed enemy apart with the Buster and kill it, um, you you only get the base value of two seconds. So, if you want more time on those particular enemies, you do have to kill them in the normal fashion without bustering them. But how this will work is that this video will be stages 1 through 20, the second video will be stages 21 through 40, and so forth, up until 101. And looks like we've taken some damage on these enemies. There's a lot of interesting things going on at the Bloody Palace because there's assortments of enemies that you just don't see in the main campaign. Like, you never fight Frosts and Angelos at once. You never fight, like, Angelos and, and, and Assaults. I don't believe. Like you, you see what I'm saying? Even if you do, there's a lot of combinations where it's it's all purely going to be new to you if you're just familiar with the main campaign. Now, I have cleared this one time and I don't think that it's that hard. I just think that it's kind of stressful and there's one hell of a run back if you're trying to to beat Dante at the end. Um because he is the final boss and he works pretty much the same as he does in the main campaign, it's just that it's a different arena that you fight him in. So, you want to... Here, here's how this works. See, when I was streaming this originally, I was... I was constantly running out of time. And now, time is never an issue for me because if you do well in these er earlier stages that aren't very hard, if you know damage them, if you if you stylish, if you're stylish, excuse me, then you can build up a lot of points and then you can kind of just relax the rest of the way as far as the time is concerned because anything like over 15 minutes you'll be fine like if you get up to about 15 minutes 12 minutes 15 minutes um, even as much as 20 minutes there's just no way you'll fail on the time and I normally don't do these types of projects on my channel but sometimes I do um, uh, there's a couple examples I think there's been a precedent with the the Dante's Inferno Gates of Hell guide that I did on my channel, and some of the challenges um, for the for one of the circles of hell that I did. But anyway, I think we're 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 facing the Gladius enemies, and um, I chose Nero because he's the most accessible character. Um, I I don't think that Lady would be fun to watch. Dante would be fun to watch, but. For an introductory guide, for a beginner's guide for this, I think Nero is going to be the best for people to use. Now, when you clear a section, they they do stop the the timer, and also there's no save feature whatsoever, so you have to complete this without shutting down the software. And if you do, you have to start over. But it is really nice. See how see how when I grab these guys, it just gives me two. Uh, two, it's not getting me any bonus points. See, see right there, it was 248 because I was killing them in a normal manner. See, 248, 330. But if I just grab one and rend him, regardless of style, it just gives me two seconds extra time. 
So watch this. When the, all, the, all the enemies are cleared, you get uh, the, the time frozen until you move. And also on the special edition, as you know, um, you can carry the charge shot through the through the portal. You can't do that do that on the vanilla version. You can carry your exceed level through a portal, but not that. So it just it starts off kind of um, I wouldn't really say boring. It just starts off pretty mellow, pretty easy, uh, but things get a little wilder as they go on. But basically, I would like to go over the like the percent increases that you get for these enemies and it's all gonna vary by enemy but basically the bonus points that those don't vary according to the style so when you kill an and when you kill an enemy excuse me I'm getting ahead of myself I I always thought that this would be kind of my magnum opus to do this project and it's it's pretty daunting so what stage are we on we're on stage 10 okay we've got a whole bunch of these guys I think there's gonna be 12 of these guys to deal with or more, maybe 20. Um, but when you kill an enemy, you get X number of, 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 of time bonus points. Now, they're going to add bonus points to those bonus points when you kill enemies, like depending on how much style you have. So, say for instance, on a scarecrow arm or a leg, you get a base bonus point of five seconds. Now, you're gonna get five seconds plus whatever the bonus time score is based on your style rank. So the, the style points for and going in descending order here um, well I, I should say it, it's more of a, a ascending order from the bottom um, so the, the the lowest D D requirement for the style that gives you a, a plus 10 um, a plus 10 percent bonus of the time so it's it's 10 percent of the base and so that will be the base plus 10% of the base equals what you'll get for each enemy kill. So for D it's 10%, for C it's 20% of the base, for for B it's 30% of the base, for A it's 40 it's plus 40% of the base, for S it's plus 50% of the base, for SS it's plus 75% of the base, for SSS you get 100% um, of the base. So you would get, for an SSS, for an enemy that's giving you 5 seconds, you're going to get 10 seconds because you get 100% of the base. 5 plus 5 is 10 seconds. So, I, I may do some of these. Um, there probably will be one entire video that I do with live commentary. And then the rest will be uh, post-commentary. Now, I should note when the, the difficulty switches... So this particular video is stages 1 through 20. Every 20 stages there is a, a boss battle. And at certain stages you're also going to get a, a difficulty increase. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this too because it does contain the hardest difficulty. But not until some of the later stages. Um, so it starts off in what I can only imagine is is devil hunter I, I can't imagine that it's on human I think humans the lowest difficulty and then it goes to devil hunter and then son of Sparta so it starts off in son of Sparta let's just say it does because there, there's, there's just no way it starts out on human um, so stages 1 through 40 are all going to be on the normal difficulty of devil hunter stages 41 through 80 are going to be on Son of Sparta mode, and then 81 through 101 are going to be on Dante Must Die difficulty, and you'll be able to easily tell that it's on that mode because you'll see enemies devil triggering. So what stage are we on? Are we almost on bu uh, burial yet? See, you, every time you finish a stage, you want to try to get your maximum bet, and on these guys here, you want to send the charge shot level 3 back at them. But I think we're on stage, what, what were we on? 19 now? No damage bonus, that's pretty good. What stage are we on? 16. Okay, so stage 16, you've got a scarecrow arm and a leg times three and a mega scarecrow. 
So it looks like there's going to be three of these scarecrow arms and legs apiece, and this mega scarecrow here. I can tell that it's on a certain difficulty because of the fact that enemies fall down pretty fast and, and die um, with a showdown. And it doesn't take as many. Like one charge shot level 3 will take a blitz out of his electric cloak on these lower difficulties. But I've been having a blast playing this. And there, I, I, I tweeted about this. I, I don't think that it's hard. Not even on Dante Must Die difficulty. It's just stressful. Like later on. When, you know, I've done this. This is the second time I've done this now. And I died on Dante. Not because it's hard, it's just because I was overconfident and I was arrogant, basically. I was just trying to phone in my victory, if you know what I mean. I just thought, well, yeah, I can do it. I'll just go on automatic mode and not think too much and just do it. And that was the wrong mentality, so I failed. So what's going to happen is, this is going to be all or nothing, you guys. Um, for instance, I don't just want to do, like... 40 videos and then die at some point and then and then just leave that in the guide and then do the run back and then continue the guide from another point. I want this all to be one continuous run even though it will be broken into different videos. So here is the first blitz. You will face two blitzes um, later in the game. Um, unfortunately at that point the difficulty has turned to Dante must die difficulty. But with Nero, he's, he's very powerful, and these charge shot level 3s just blast these guys right out of their cloak. And then you, you can grab them three times, and then do a final charge shot level 3 with a double trigger. It should kill them, but uh, yeah. I don't think it connected all the way right there. You also get, every time you enter a boss arena, it, it's going to give you extra time as well at the beginning. Um, it's going to give you time for clearing the boss, and also it's going to give you points if you know dam uh, uh, time increase bonus points for no damaging the boss. And this is just going to be whatever it is, you guys. It's it's going to be far from perfect. Far from perfect. There's going to be moments where I'm doing really well. There's going to be moments when I'm doing really poorly and needs and am in need of health. There's going to be moments where you know I'm, I'm just playing. So, so. Are we on burial yet? Yeah, here's burial. Here's the final boss fight of this uh, video. And he's not that tough because he is on Devil Hunter mode. So you want to do your Excaliburs over to him. Double trigger at the moment of impact. Charge shot level 3. He should be get be throwable pretty soon. And then you could jump for iframes. I don't think I did too well on this boss. I did no damage to the frog boss next coming up. Which is, I think, a little harder to do than Burial. But burial still got some fast moves that he does. So at this point, you want to back off from him. DT, cancel. It's hard when you're already in Devil Trigger and you have to, to cancel out of Devil Trigger and then activate Devil Trigger again. You've got to do it really fast. But I do want to welcome everybody to the guide. If you need extra help on any of these, I have done an SSS rank guide and walkthrough on my channel. It's a, a very recent project. So... If any boss or particular enemy you feel that I didn't cover him more in depth on this guide, I would like you to, to go to those videos and, and seek help from them because you know there's going to be a lot that I need to talk about on this. So that's been stage uh, Bloody Palace stages 1 through 20. I will see you in 21 through 40. Take care.